Good morning, everyone. Bob here, and welcome to exercises for seniors that will boost your immune system. The research says that if you have a strong immune system, you're not as likely to get sick. We're going to do some strength training exercises, which are very important to have a healthy immune system. We're going to do some walking, another important exercise, and we're going to do some high intensity interval training. They call that HIIT, H-I-I-T. We're also going to cool down with some uh, cool um, static stretches and a little dynamic stretches. And we're going to uh, end up with some meditation. Drink a lot of water. You need that water inside your system to keep everything as healthy as possible. Strength training, light weights, sit up tall. We don't have to make it complicated, break it down, cause this point in time so long away, and I don't want to waste another minute holding back, give me all that you have, no concern over this and that. Every light is being switched off, forget the time and see a tick tock. Close your eyes and feel it drift off If we do it too fast, then it ain't gonna last No need to worry when you're with me Nothing to hurry when we're this deep We're moving perfect when we're this deep Let it pass when the day goes We don't even need control And if we try, we just can't keep on Neither side gonna be ignored Give me round full circle, baby
We're going to do some high intensity interval training exercises down on the floor using a mat. And before we begin, I want you to know that the research has proven in the last few years that you need to do your high intensity exercise for a very short period of time. We're going to go for 20 seconds. High intensity means go as hard as you can. And then we're going to do the interval part where we're going to rest. But while we rest, we're going to stretch. And we're going to do that for about two minutes. And then we'll do another exercise. And the first one is called in and out. I'm going to lie on my back. Support my head, maybe with a little cushion. Spread my arms and my legs out. And then I'm going to pull them in as close as I can to my body and then bring them back out. Okay, so here we go. That's 20 seconds. That's as fast as I can go. So now I'm going to bend my legs, put one leg over top of the other, pull them into my chest and grab my shins. So I'll turn it sideways so you can see this one. So the stretch will be bend my legs, bring my heels toward my bum, lift one leg over top of the other above the knee, reach around and grab my shins, pull my legs in and hold it. If you want to lift your head off the ground, make sure you're looking straight up. You're working your 
piriformis muscle in your hip there. Good, rest for a sec, switch around. Reach and grab and pull. Lift your head maybe. Piriformis muscle goes from your low back to the upper part of your leg through your bum. Good work. Now we're going to do that one more time. Maybe a little faster. Here we go, ready to go. That's 20 seconds. Now the stretch. And we're done. Exercise number one. Exercise number two is called the bicycle. So we're going to lie down again on our back. Maybe we have a cushion behind our head, maybe not. Arms at our sides. Legs come up like so. And we ride the bicycle, right? And we go as fast as we can for 20 seconds. Okay, let's go on that bike. And rest. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bend one leg for our stretch, lift the other one straight up, keeping it as straight as possible, reach and grab your calf, and pull the leg in, flex the foot, and don't bend your neck like this, just look straight up. Stretching our hamstrings, stretching our calf muscle by flexing the foot. If you want to put your head down on your pillow, that's okay too. Good. Let's just put that leg down, make sure it's bent. Raise the other one. Keep the leg straight to stretch the hamstring or the hamstrings. Grab your calf, flex your foot. Head down or up. If you lift your head up, remember, keep your chin off your chest. Stretching the hamstrings. If they're tight because we've been sitting down a lot, they'll create havoc with our whole body. Okay, ready? Bicycle again. You ready? Go. Ride that bike as fast as you can. It's only 20 seconds. Good work. Leg goes up, one is bent, grab the calf muscle, flex the foot. Other side. That was the bicycle. The next exercise is called a leg raise. 
So slowly lower yourself down. Put your hands underneath your low back for support. Put your head on a pillow or just flat on the floor and look straight up. Straighten your legs and lift one up as high as you can and bring the heel back down. Up and down. Let's go. Leg raises. One is straight on the floor. The other one is lifting up. Other side. Good work. We're going to grab the bottom of our feet. And we're going to take our legs apart and we're going to push with our elbows to get them apart. Hold the stretch. You're working your adductors, your inner thighs here. Remember, push away with your elbows on the inside of your knees. Bend your legs and grab the bottom of your feet. Okay, relax. Get ready. We're going to do this side this time. So maybe my arms are at my sides, but I think I'm going to put my hands under my low back. Ready to go. Leg raise on the other side. Good work, only 20 seconds. Remember, bend, bend your legs, reach in between your legs, grab the bottom of your feet, push away with your elbows into your knees, and stretch your adductors, your inner thighs. The next exercise is called the hand to the knee, starting in the table position. So what I want to do is I want to take one leg back and the other arm out, opposite arm out, and bring my knee to my hand and then put them back. So we do this as fast as we can for 20 seconds. Good work. And the stretch in the table position will be the cow. That means I create a saddle in my low back and I look up and I hold it. You remember the cow cat working your low back and your hips. Of course your shoulders and your neck your back muscles everywhere. Your hands are below your shoulders. The cow, stretch. Okay, relax in neutral. All right, ready for the hand, opposite hand, opposite knee. Let's stretch out the leg first, ready, go. And we'll do the cat for the stretch. Put our chin to our chest, suck our belly in, round out our back, and hold it. Don't hold your breath though. intensity interval training 20 seconds hard and two minutes approximately rest or stretch this one's called up and down but up means get your body as high up as you can and down means get your body as low to the floor as you can 
And how you get down and how you get up is up to you. And you're supposed to do this as fast as possible for 20 seconds. So here we go. I'm going to start. I've got a mat, of course. You don't need a mat, but here we go. Get up as high as I can. Ready to go. Get down as low as I can. Get back up as high as I can. And as low as I can. Whatever that means for you. One more. Now the stretch or the rest. So I'm going to stretch by putting my hands on my hips. My legs are shoulder width apart or maybe a little wider. Toes pointing straight ahead. And I'm going to hinge at the hips and stick my bum back and look straight down to the floor. And then I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together and hold it. And then relax. Okay, one more time for the down and up. This is the hardest one of them all. Other exercise people might refer to this as the burpee. And they do it a little bit differently, but the burpee is just way too hard for me. I don't know about you. So I'm going to do the down and up as high as I can, as low as I can, as fast as I can, but I'm already tired. Be careful. And if you're down and up is like in slow motion because you can't go any faster, that's okay. In fact, I think I'll try it that way too. So I'm going to go up as high as I can and then I'm getting down on the floor or the mat as low as I can. And then I'm coming back up whichever way is safe for me and getting up as high as I can and then down as low as I can. And maybe if I do five of them, that would be 20 seconds worth. This is hard work. Maybe if you just do one. One more. Six. Good work. Now the stretch. Put my hands on my hips, gently turn to the left, look over my shoulder, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and hold it there. Relax everything, slowly come back to neutral, other side, twist, notice my feet are planted, Shoulder width apart, look over my shoulder, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and hold it there. Looking at my painting. Relax everything, hands at your side. And that was called the down and up. And all of those exercises, those five, were part of the high intensity interval training. Yes, believe it or not, walking will boost your immune system and preferably outside. But if you do the portion of this workout walking inside, that's okay. And if you don't have much space, you can walk on the spot or walk a little bit forward and backwards, go in different directions, up and down some steps, step over things even when you're outside. But speed it up the odd time for maybe 10 to 20 seconds and then slow down again. Walk for maybe two minutes and then speed it up like we did in the hip portion of this workout. Okay, but outside would be nice. So you could just shut the video off now and go for a walk outside or you can um, put it on pause and do your walking inside. You don't have to walk with me. But I'm gonna walk around the house, outside around the house and you can come with me and see what it looks like in my yard, if you want, just for interest. But don't forget to do the walking.
No, some steps. Lettuce. It's my vegetable garden. My rhubarb, I better pick some of that rhubarb today. It's good for your immune system. Oh, the peonies are out now. I'm sure you've seen them. I've got these um, uneven flagstone rocks on my path, which is good for walking. I have to walk around things like my lawnmower. My astilbe, isn't it beautiful? It's a little bit of a slope here. I better speed it up a little bit. my hose. I better do some watering later on. Step over things like the downspout. Walk quickly, he said. Go on uneven surfaces. Slow down. A little shrine here. Tomato plants. This is my compost. I never throw any fat in there, though, except maybe a little bit of eggshells. Oh, this is my fern garden. Look what happened. The ferns grew. Holy cats. My periwinkle on this side is competing with the ferns on that side. And my flags. Holy cats. My dragon black flags. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, thanks to the Buddha. Step over these rocks. And I should go and touch my white pine tree over here because it's supposed to help with ridding your body of cancer cells. You don't really have to touch it. You're just supposed to stand near it. Maybe for a few minutes every day. Okay. And around my clothesline. Maybe I'll speed it up over here on the grass that I just cut. And I'll go the other way and back into the house. There's my walking. Go up the steps. If you've worked hard today, it's time for a cool down. We call the routine strike a pose. Just follow along.
We'll finish today's workout off with some tapping. We want to congratulate ourselves for doing such a great job. So remember there are nine energy spots on your body that you want to tap. And just follow along and you don't have to tap very hard. The first one is the karate chop. So we tap here. Notice I'm sitting up straight. I don't have to be sitting, I can be standing. Just relax. And as you tap your karate chop location, say, I did a great job boosting my immune system. I did a great job boosting my immune system. That's position one. Position two is right here where your eyebrows come to where the top of your nose is. So you tap with your fingers at the same time and say, I did a great job boosting my immune system. That's number two. Number three is at the edge of your eyebrows, out here by your temples, but on your eyebrows. I did a great job boosting my immune system. Mm, position four is the bone right below your eyes. I did a great job boosting my immune system. Number five is right below your nose here, above your lip. I did a great job boosting my immune system. Number six is between your lip, lower lip and chin. I did a great job boosting my immune system. Number seven is right where your collarbone soft spot, just right in there. I did a great job boosting my immune system. Under your arm, I did a great job boosting my immune system. I did a great job boosting my immune system. That's number eight. And number nine, at the top of your head, right in the middle. I did a great job boosting my immune system. Congratulations, come again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when the next video has been posted.